Cooking with Intention. I'm Tracy and welcome to my kitchen. So this week I received a family request to do a German dish. Mm, we love German food. So this is what I'm going to do and please keep in mind my recipes are always in my description. So I have my creamy garlic pork chops and a cheesy spatzel. Yum. And they even got me <laughs> braised red cabbage that is all in German but I could do this, but I am not wasting this. This is gonna be an amazing dish. So let me introduce my ingredients. I have eight lean pork chops, boneless. I have two cups of chicken broth, olive oil, of course, and a cup of red wine, three shallots diced, 16 ounces of sliced mushrooms, I have a tablespoon of stone ground mustard, delicious. I have a tablespoon of garlic. I have a half a cup of reduced fat sour cream, and I have my spices, salt and pepper and thyme and a pinch of red pepper flakes. This is going to be an amazing, beautiful pork chop dish. Now, when I do the gravy, I'm going to need to thicken it a bit. So I use um, a cup of water and two tablespoons of cornstarch and mix those up and add it at the end to thicken the gravy. So let's get on to the spatzel. So they bought me the spatzel, which is a traditional German egg noodle. It's, it's wonderful. And I have a bunch of the um, parsley that I'm going to chop up. I have eight ounces of reduced fat Swiss cheese. I diced up one small onion. I have two tablespoons of butter. And again, a half a cup of reduced fat sour cream and a quarter cup of chopped chives. So that's gonna be beautiful. And I will warm up this cabbage. So let's get started. All right, I seasoned my meat and I am browning it just a bit because I want to be able to um, have it cook and it's gonna finish at the end. So I'm just browning it on one side. I seasoned the meat before I put it in. So now we'll add the other one. You might have to do it in batches because you don't want to overcrowd your pan. And I have my water going for the spatzel, bringing it to a boil. So we'll let this cook a bit, just browning on each side. It'll probably take a couple minutes. Okay, these are done too. I'm just gonna take them out and set them aside. Now I'm gonna get some more olive oil in there. And I'm gonna add my mushrooms and my shallot. And I'm gonna cook this to where the um, shallots are translucent and I'm gonna keep stirring for a bit because I don't want anything to burn. It's a pretty hot pan right now. I've turned my heat down and the mushrooms will start to sweat and I'll remove it when they are done sweating. So we'll let this cook for probably five minutes, stirring occasionally. And right now my um, water is done. I'm gonna add the spatula. Give it a stir. And I'm going to keep an eye on it and stir it occasionally as well. Okay, as you can see, it is cooked for about five minutes and it smells amazing. So now I'm going to add in my garlic and let that cook for another minute. I'm 
smelling good in here. All right, so I'm going to add the white wine, and I'm going to let that cook off by half. We're gonna add, let it just stir and simmer a bit. As you can see, it has reduced by half, at least, maybe a little bit more. And so I mixed my um, broth and sour cream and mustard together, and I'm gonna add it to my sauce. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> I'm gonna let that combine for a few minutes. All right, as you can see, this is starting to come up to temperature and a little bit of boil. I've started my cast iron pan because I'm with some the butter and melting it slowly because when this is done, I'm going to combine it all with the cheese and put it in the oven. So it'll be amazing but I want to put my pork chops back in and kind of smother them in the sauce. Let all those spices get in with the mushroom sauce our juices in there. As you can see, this is um, this butter is melted. So I want to be able to put my onion in and let it saute. Again, until it's translucent. And I'm going to turn the heat down on my pork chops to low. And cover them. These pork chops have been cooking for about five minutes and they are done. I'm ready to do my gravy, but not just yet because I'm working on the spatzel. So I'm going to set that aside. And I'm going to move my onions that are still sautéing. And I'm braising or I'm, I'm warming up the cabbage. So as you can see, these are starting to brown, starting to get translucent. Got a little bit more to go. My spatzel is done, and so I'm going to start to add in my salt and pepper to the onions. Give them a good stir. Gonna add in my parsley. I want it to wilt down. some of my chives because I want to top some and give that a good stir. I've got my oven on the oil right now because I'm going to end up putting this in the oven to give it some color when I'm done. I'm going to add my spatzel. And combine it. I'm gonna turn my, I just turned my um, burner down just a bit. I'm 
add my sour cream, which would typically be a heavy cream. And my Swiss cheese. And combine. For now, I think I'm going to turn my heat off. I just want to combine. Okay. So now that's all well combined. My heat is off. I'm not cooking anymore. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of panko on top because I do want to put it in the oven. This wasn't on my um, my uh, ingredients list, but I'll make sure to add it into the recipe. Just because it sounded good. All right. So I'm going to move this to the side. I'm going to move my pork chops back over and remove my pork chops. Because now I want to thicken my sauce. So for timing purposes, when I get these all removed and my gravy is um, ready to go, then I'll put my yummy cheesy spatzel in the oven to crisp up. Okay, this is boiling, so I'm putting the, um, the spatzel in the broiler. Keep a very close eye on that. I'm going to give this a stir. My red cabbage smells so good. And I've mixed my um, cornstarch with one cup of oil or water, sorry. And I'm just going to pour in a little bit at a time because I want to bring it to the consistency I want for gravy. will not use the whole thing already getting there which is nice <laughs> it smells so good i can't wait to try it a little bit more i think that'll be it all right so we have our pork chops we have our gravy and I bet that spatzel is just about done. So our cheesy spatzel is out of the broiler. Oh gosh, everything looks and smells delicious. Here is the finished meal. It is the creamy garlic pork chop with the mustard mushroom gravy and the cheesy spatzel with the red cabbage. So yummy. Can't wait to dive in. I do, even though it's heavy, I do want to try and show you this beautiful, it's like a um, macaroni and cheese, but it's cheesy spatula. It's so good. And the pork chops. You have leftover gravy to go on it. And again, if you don't like red cabbage or you don't like uh, spatzel, do a, a, a mashed potato or a roasted potato or something and it, you'll love it. It's so good. I hope you enjoy this recipe. I know I will. If you do, please like and subscribe and share my videos. I very much appreciate that, as well as following me on Instagram at cooking underscore with underscore intention. And I'm on Facebook, cooking with intention. So glad I could share this with you. Remember, the recipe is always in the description, and I hope you have a fabulous day. Until next time, please be well.